Do you feel like you don't speak enough English? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. In this video, you'll learn 10 of the most common words and phrases in English. Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. Welcome to the 2000 Core English Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 2000 most common words and phrases in English. Each lesson will help you practice and review what you've learned. You can also get the full list right now at EnglishClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard decks, and finally, master English. Okay, let's get started. First is insignificant. 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 So the word insignificant means something that is not important. It's not special. If we break this word down, we have the prefix in, which means not or no, and the word significant, which means something that is important or something that we need to care about or pay attention to a lot. So together, this means not significant or not important or not something that we need to care or think about a lot. Insignificant. Insignificant amount. Insignificant amount. Insignificant amount. Famous. 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 So something that is famous is something or someone that is very, very well known. So this is usually someone like a celebrity, like an actor or an actress. Maybe they're a musician, they're part of a band, perhaps they're an artist, they create paintings, or maybe they write something that's very, very well known. So someone who is famous is known by many different people, and something that is famous is also known by many different people. For example, famous actor. Famous actor. Famous actor. Sneeze. 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 So sneeze is a verb and a noun. To sneeze, the verb, means that feeling that you have in your nose when your body needs to move air out of it really quickly. We have that achoo, right? That's called the noun form sneeze. And as a verb, we say to sneeze. So that means to do that action. For example, the woman is sneezing. The woman is sneezing. The woman is sneezing. Casual. 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 So casual is the opposite of formal. Casual means something that is kind of relaxed, something that is laid back, something that's not super polite. So when we have everyday conversations with our friends, we usually use casual language or we dress in casual clothes or we have kind of a casual feeling. For example, casual clothing. Casual clothing. Casual clothing. Guitar. 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 This word has kind of an interesting spelling. It starts with G-U-I, but we pronounce this as gi. So a guitar is a musical instrument. We play it like this usually, and this is something that is played all over the world. There are lots and lots of talented people who play guitar, and they are called guitarists. For example, some of them play a six-string guitar. Six-string guitar. Six-string guitar. Next is breathe. 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 Okay, this word is a verb. It means to take air into your body and to put air out of your body. This process of getting air into your body and moving it out is called breathing. Make sure you're cautious of the spelling of this. To breathe, this word has an E at the end, yeah? We also have a noun that looks very similar and is related to this process. That's called breath, but there's no E at the end. So be careful when you use this as a verb. Make sure you don't forget that E. For example, breathe deeply, breathe deeply, breathe deeply, spit, spit, spit. 
So this is kind of a gross vocabulary word, but it's important to know. This is a noun and a verb. So as a verb, to spit means to force whatever is in your mouth out of your mouth. So if you're eating something, for example, and you spit it out, that means you force it out of your mouth. If you have nothing in your mouth, just the water, the liquid in your mouth, and you put that out of your mouth, that's called spitting. So to spit means to force something out of your mouth. As a noun, spit means just the liquid inside your mouth. So an example, no spitting, no spitting, no spitting. Dentist, dentist, dentist. So the dentist is the tooth doctor. So when you need to have your teeth cleaned, when you need to talk to a doctor about something happening in your mouth, with your teeth, with your gums, these kinds of things, you visit a dentist. It's important to see a dentist regularly. So for example, see a dentist, see a dentist, see a dentist. Cavity, cavity, cavity. So a cavity usually refers to a hole in your tooth. So this is a very common type of tooth damage. When you have a cavity, you need to go and see a dentist to get it repaired. For example, deep cavity, deep cavity, deep cavity, asthma, asthma, asthma. So this word has very interesting spelling. There's a TH in the middle, but we don't say asthma, we say asthma. So kind of ignore that, but try to remember it when you're spelling this word. So asthma is a very, very common type of illness that affects the lungs. So someone who has asthma may have trouble breathing normally, or maybe they are irritated, their lungs get irritated by some kind of allergic reaction, or maybe they have to take some kind of medication to help them to breathe regularly. So different people have different kinds of asthma, but this is a very common illness that affects the lungs. So here's an example expression. Asthma inhaler. Asthma inhaler. Asthma inhaler. Let's review. I'm going to describe a word or phrase in English. See if you can remember it. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say the word that means something that is not big, something that is not important, something that is not significant? Insignificant. Insignificant. Next, do you remember how to describe someone or something that many, many people know about? Lots of people around the country, around the city, around the world. Famous. Famous. What about the word we use to describe when we quickly let air out of our nose, like when we have an allergic reaction or when we feel sick? What word means to quickly expel air from the nose? Sneeze. Sneeze. Do you remember how to say the word that's the opposite of formal. It's the word we use to talk about our relationships with our friends and family and other people we are close to. Casual. Casual. Okay, let's try the name of the instrument that has strings that you play by making this motion. Guitar, guitar. What about the word we use to talk about taking air into our body and releasing air from our body? What's the word we use to describe this action? Breathe, breathe. 
Now, let's see if you remember how to talk about removing the water that's in your mouth very, very quickly. This is often kind of a rude thing to do. Spit. Spit. Okay, another one. What's the word that we use to explain the doctor that we go to for our teeth? Dentist. Dentist. Do you remember the word to talk about a hole in our tooth? This is a major medical issue. Cavity. Cavity. And finally, do you remember how to say the medical condition that affects your lungs and makes it hard to breathe? Asthma. Asthma. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 10 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Bye! Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools.